Hi everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. Police once again cracking down on distracted driving. But this time they are boarding a school bus to catch those breaking the law. Fox 9's Karen Scullin is live for us tonight. And Karen, they're doing this because the kids' lives are in danger. Right, today's operation is called Busted by the Bus because distracted driving is an even bigger do deal when it's around school buses that could have kids on it. Police say when drivers do go around that stop arm, it is usually because they're looking down at their cell phone. Westbound Yankee from Pilot, there's a silver Honda, Honda CRV. This driver is clearly on her cell phone, texting, apparently laughing at the conversation, totally unaware that several police officers and cameras are watching her illegal activity from a big yellow school bus. They don't have that wherewithal to look around and see what's going on before they start moving in traffic again, so it's scary. Squad's at Dairy Queen, there's a black caddy. Once again, eyes off the road and on the phone, even around what could be a bus full of kids. I looked into the vehicle, I could see the driver of a black Cadillac sedan. He had the phone in his right hand, kind of resting on the center of the steering wheel, texting with one thumb, holding the steering wheel with his left hand. The goal of Busted by the Bus is to get drivers to be extra cautious around school buses. Police say drivers usually go around stop arms because they're distracted. So today's lesson is to react to a school bus like you would a squad car. Slow down and obey the law. There's like a white sprinter van at 006, William Henry Lincoln. She's riding on a clipboard. Patrol officers on the road we're doing the other half of today's operation. Pulling drivers over, the bus spotters called in. Officer Mua was happy to do it too. He sees distracted driving as dangerous as drunk driving. The driving conduct of someone on a cell phone, it's almost as if you, at least for me, I think that they're intoxicated. Weaving in and out of traffic uh, lanes, uh, stopping at a, a green light. Now, of course, in August, the new state law goes into effect that forces all drivers to go hands free. So no doubt another lesson is on its way. We're live in Egan, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.